I'm a third culture kid. I was born in the US, but I moved to a new country every three years. I don't really feel like I'm from anywhere. I think a lot of that shows up in my food. I get very inspired by different cultures around me from my past and my present. My name is Ines Glazer from Lupicata. I would say that my personal style of pizza is, you know, puffy, fluffy Neapolitan crust with a little bit more of like a, an American crispy edge. I like to use California ingredients. I want to include the salt, fat, acid, heat in all of my pizzas. Love Calabrian chili, love anchovies, love red sauce. If I was doing a classic pizza, it would just be marinara, anchovies, Calabrian chili. I think it's really cool when chefs or food or recipes blend the old traditional techniques with their new, unique, modern twist. I really wanted to do my own thing, so I was really hungry to start my own business. So I went to pizza school in Naples, took an apprenticeship with a restaurant group in Copenhagen, and then I was here in LA working at an Italian restaurant, working in the wood-fired oven. There was a moment in Chile when I said I wanted to make pizza for my host family and I just used whatever we had available. I don't even think I could find yeast, but I made this flatbread for them and they were blown away and they hadn't had anything like it before. You know, I think it was that moment that I realized you can make good food anywhere. To get my name out there, I did pop-ups at different dive bars around the city. And then eventually I started to work with fancier wine bars and different restaurateurs. And as I started to get more traction, the whole world shut down. So I had to pivot. I basically started doing do-it-yourself pizza gets at artisan bodegas around the city and partnering with them. That kind of also was a different way to get my dough out there. People were using it, stretching at home. Pizza ovens became really popular, which was awesome. Now I'm mostly, I would say, catering. In the food industry, I meet a lot of different people. We're so lucky to be living in LA, where there's people from all different countries around the world. And I just love to hear their stories and seek those out, all these different micro cultures all around the city. And so you can be going to the Thai market, you can be going to the Japanese market, and it's really fascinating where people grew up and how that impacts their food around them, essentially. I love to do live fire cooking. I specialize in that and I think that there's something special with like a table side service. I think there's something magical about having something prepared in the moment. A lot of my clientele, they love interacting with the food, seeing the pizza dough stretch, seeing the vegetables caramelize in the oven. There's something really special about that. You can make beautiful steak, beautiful roasted vegetables. It's just really quite amazing what you can do in just an hour of heating up an oven up to a thousand degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs>